Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, guys. Okay, so, sorry, I'm a little bit later than normal, but I had to rig this little contraption to plug in my iPad because I was bad last night and did not put it on the charger. So it only had 4% battery, and normally my Facebook peeps are on my iPad, my Instagram peeps are on my um, phone, so I'm trying to, uh, the cord's on the bottom, I'm trying to balance my iPad right now on the cord so it could be charging while I'm chatting with you guys. Good morning, Deborah. So sorry if my Facebook, I look like the Leaning Tower of Pisa, <laughs> but it's only because there's a charger on the bottom so I don't die while I talk to you guys, but I wanted to let you in a little bit on relationship stuff um, and some things that Alex and I have been learning, we've been implementing, we've been trying, and it has really been helping. So just to let you in a little bit, um, who else just hopped on here? Hey Debbie, I got Deborah and Debbie. Good morning, ladies. So, um, you know, we get to the point in relationships where you're just like two ships passing in the night. Um, and it's just kind of like a roommate status and you feel like the newness has worn off and you know, they're, 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 the spark really isn't there and you know, all of those things. So for any of you guys that are on live with me right now, just give me some hearts or some thumbs up and let me know if you know what I'm talking about and you know exactly what I mean when I say that you just feel like roommates and um, it just feels like life becomes the priority instead of the relationship. So I'll give you a minute to respond to that. This needs to go out in the garage for my workout. So, okay, I see the hearts and stuff going across. So, the reason why I asked that question is because, you know, all relationships end up getting to that point in, in, in one time or another. Um, so we have done a lot of learning because neither one of us like that feeling. We don't like the feeling of like roommates or we don't like the feeling of life being more important. We have a lot of stressors in life like everybody else does. And a lot of times trying to rid those stressors, trying to um, get rid of them and you know, focus on that becomes a priority. Um, you know, financial issues, new jobs, you know, changes in the house, all of those things are stressors on relationships, kids, all of that. So trying to focus on how to deal with those stressors sometimes becomes a priority. So one thing that we learned, um, and we've been really implementing it, you guys know how we do our nightly walks. I do that with Ryan, and it has really connected Ryan and I as mother and son. Um, and it's always a disconnect type walk, meaning no phone. Um, Sometimes our phone might be in our pocket if we see something really pretty like the sky that we want to take a picture of because Ryan and I are usually walking around the time of the sun setting. Um, so we usually will ha might have our phones just to take a really pretty picture, um, but we're not texting anyone. We're not nothing like that. We're just walking and talking. And the walk is about 30 something minutes and we're talking the entire time. Um, I don't know any teenage boys that talk that often but that is the one time that him and I are so connected and we're talking about his day and we're talking about things with his friends and he's telling me stories that you know he just wants to talk about and it we we are very connected um this is something that I started with the family a while ago and then Alex and I started them but Alex and I hey Valerie we weren't doing them every day we were trying to but sometimes things got in the way right life so um one thing that Alex and I had learned was that any relationship, friendships, husband and wife, significant others, wife and wife, husband and husband, mother, daughter, mother, son, father, daughter, any relationship needs 20 minutes of uninterrupted time to connect. And the connecting isn't watching a movie or watching a TV show. Connect, whether you're talking, whether you're just sitting there staring at each other, whether you go for a walk and you're just holding hands. Um, 20 minutes of uninterrupted time to connect and stay connected because life gets in the way. It's just human nature that when there's something that is a stressor on your life, you're going to focus on that. You want to get rid of that, so you're gonna focus on it. And anything else in your life does not take precedence, it takes a back seat. That's human nature. So don't think there's something wrong or you fell out of love or whatever it is. 
those feelings end up being normal feelings because you feel disconnected. So you feel like, okay, if we've fallen out of love, maybe we're not meant to be together. That probably is not the case. Take some time to see if that is the case or not. So take that 20 minutes uninterrupted time. Good morning, Michelle. Take that time. It's something that we learned, so we made sure that we're implementing. Um, you know, we were talking with somebody that told us that, and we had said how we do our nightly walks and things like that, and our nightly walks are more than 20 minutes. So we decided we're not gonna talk about any of our life stressors on that walk. Um, you know, if we need advice from each other, we'll ask for advice, but we try to just talk about other things. Um, and we try, like last night at dinner, we're trying to, we made like compile the list of all the places we ever wanted to visit and ever wanted to travel to um, so we can see new places. Like Alex should be getting his pilot license within this month or next month. So we'll be able to go to those places. So we started making a list of all these places we ever wanted to travel to. Um, and it was such a nice date because that's how it was back in the day. Instead of us just sitting there and having nothing to talk about um, because neither one of us wanted to bring up something that was bothering us. Um, so communication is definitely key in relationships. However, you need 20 minutes a day of uninterrupted connect time. Even if it's just sitting in a room listening to music and joking or just listening to the music and just relaxing together, you don't have to talk for 20 minutes. Um, but you do need, all relationships need that connect time. Um, even friendships, have you noticed that some friends, when something exciting happens in your life, you don't even think to call them because you've disconnected. You don't talk throughout the day like you used to, or you don't feel as close. When you start feeling non, not close to people, it's because you haven't had that connect time that every relationship needs to be a strong, sustaining relationship. That's where that saying of continue dating your spouse comes from. Because when you go on dates at the beginning, when you're dating and you go on dates, you're not on your phone. You're not working on your phone or you're not texting your friends or making someone else more important. You are so focused on that person on the other side of the table. You are so focused on what they're saying and just them being there that everybody else in the world is shut out. And that person is your top priority. So that's where the saying of continue dating your spouse, never stop dating your spouse. That is why people say that. Because once you stop dating, the spark goes away. It's like the candle gets put out and you just become roommates that share chores. And that's not what marriage is about. It's about finding your soulmate and finding that person that knows you and loves you for your faults, knows everything about you and still loves you for as crazy as you are. And you build a life together. You want to still have fun. You want to still enjoy each other. So that is why... I made the date night jar that I made. I don't know if you guys saw it, um, but I got, it's actually a clay cup that was made when we went um, on our cruise with friends of ours to Mexico. I got a margarita in a clay cup and they actually handmade the cup so it's not even even. It sits like on a, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. But, and I went on Amazon for eight bucks and got like a whole variety pack of different color um, sticks, wood sticks. And I just took a black, permanent marker and him and I sat and we just shouted out different fun ideas that we thought would be fun for a date night. It didn't have to be something that we thought that the other person would enjoy. It was something that we would enjoy. And what we're going to have to do is if it's something that I don't enjoy, I'm going to find something enjoyable in that evening. I'm going to find a way to enjoy something that maybe I wouldn't normally like. Um, so that's just the thing that I decided to try. Um, I did not get the idea on Pinterest, but I guess the idea is on there because when I posted, everyone's like, oh, Pinterest is great. I didn't get the idea from Pinterest. I actually got it from people doing that for New Year's. They were each day writing something that made them happy on either a paper or a stick and putting it in a jar. And then on New Year's Eve day, they would read all the, all the amazing things that happened that year. And I was sick of... It was date night and it was what do you want to do I don't know what do you want to do and for me that took the the fun out of date night and it made date night boring because all we would do is dinner and home I don't like to be bored I like to find exciting things to do so we both shouted out ideas and I wrote them on a stick and we stuck them in the jar so last night we had date night and he was like okay I'm gonna think of something for us to go do and he couldn't think of anything so I just 
I literally just sat, saw yellow, pulled it out, and it was dinner at the airport. So we couldn't figure out what food we wanted to get to eat at the airport that wouldn't have been soggy and gross by the time we got there. So we just kind of rearranged it a little bit. We went to go eat and then we went to the airport, which was fun. I'd like to see him in his element because he had his app open. We were, we were talking about which planes were going where, where were they coming from? And it also gave us places of ideas of where we want to go visit. Um, so that was the first night using the jar. It was a success. Um, it is so hard. How did you get Alex to want to do these things with you for your marriage? Honestly, Michelle, it's because we both were hating the way it felt. Um, good morning, Riley. We were both at the point that we did not like the feeling of roommates. We did not like the distance that came between us. Um, we are polar opposites. He is extremely introverted. I am extremely extroverted, as you all know. So, uh-oh, my charger doesn't seem to be charging. I think the battery might have died. Hopefully I don't die. Um, so because of that, and neither one of us really liked the feeling of it, um, we wanted to do something about it. Good morning, Anne. And so we just started learning. Um, the biggest thing was learning to talk and we talked through a lot of things. We, we've had somebody helping us, um, which has been great. And just because we've been communicating more about all the things we've been feeling inside but never said, that's also connected us. But really it's just because we felt like this was the last resort. We were both very unhappy. We've had a lot of stressors that have added to that unhappiness. And, um, you know, this is my second marriage. I didn't want to have another marriage where I was unhappy and stuck in un unhappyville. So, you know, it was just a conversation of do we save it or do we just give up? And neither one of us wanted to give up, so we decided to, you know, look for somebody to, to, to help us and to talk to us and teach us things. And I always knew, obviously, relationships definitely need connection, but I didn't know there was like a set time, a minimum time daily. So, you know, we talked with the family. Everybody in the house knows the boundaries. They know that when we go on our walks, we will not have our phones, but I will have my watch for the purpose of if there is an emergency with the kids, they can call. If they call, then Alex and I know there's an emergency and we accept that that call needs to be answered. Text messages don't get looked at, um, but phone calls will. Good morning, mom. So if the kids call, it is an emergency, we take care of it. Um, so there have been boundaries set with the family and everybody has to respect those boundaries because it's either Alex and I have this time and we get back to the relationship we like or there won't be a relationship. So. They've been very respectful of it, um, but it's been a lot of communication, family, and within Alex and myself. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I don't even know if everybody knows that. The 20 minutes minimum. I mean, your relationship and your happiness is worth 20 minutes. Just like my workout takes 20 minutes. If I'm willing to sweat my ass off in that garage for 20 minutes to help myself with my daily stress, to help myself stay the weight that is comfortable on my bones, to be toned so I don't feel like I walk and everything shakes. If I'm willing to do that for me, I should be willing to give 20 minutes to my relationship. Of course, Michelle. So I wanted to share with you guys because, you know, we were struggling. And I didn't share the struggle at the time we were struggling. I shared a little bit, but not a lot because I don't like to just share the struggle. I like to share the struggle and a solution to help anybody else out there that might be having the same issues. Uh, relationships are hard and they take work. So that's when you know you found the right person when you're willing to put the work in for that person and they're willing to put the work in for you. Um, because if, if somebody truly loves you and they want you in their life, they're willing to do what they have to for both of you to be happy to be in each other's lives. Um, yeah, yeah, you can't put your business first. Um, you know, building a business is tough but life struggles and business and work and all of that, you really can't allow that to be before your relationships, meaning your spouse, your kids, your parents. Don't ever push off people that you love and people that love you for something like that. Um, you have to find that balance. So, you know, I never like to share when a struggle is happening because I like to share what's, what happened and what is happening when I find some sort of a solution that is working because I don't like to just put problems out there 
without being able to tell you guys, okay, and this is what I've been doing and this has been helping, so maybe you guys can try it too and it can help you. I love to make my mess into my message. I love to share what I have found has worked. Um, it's just how I, it's just what I love to do um, and I hope that it helps other people. So that's why I'm sharing with you today because I have learned that that study of the 20 minutes a day freaking works. It works. I feel like Alex and I are back to how we were when we were dating. Um, you know, people say, you know, having kids messes things up, but that's just because we focus more on the kids and we stop focusing on our relationship. So it's not really the children that are messing up the relationship, it's us and where our focus is and what we're making a priority. Um, so you just have to, you just have to map out that time. So before dinner, I have my time with Ryan. After dinner, I have my time with Alex. Good morning, Anna. I have my time with Alex after dinner and um, him and I take our walk. Kayla and I have our times throughout the day. Um, we talk a lot, we connect a lot that way. Um, sometimes when I'll come home, I'll have my lunch real quick in between meetings and her and I will have our time then, we'll have lunch together. So I try to give that time with each person. Um, but you know, it works. It has definitely been working. Um, and I just wanted to pay that forward and share it with you guys. So if you're struggling in any of your relationships, really take a look at the relationship. How often do you spend quality time, which is the uninterrupted time? No phone. Like being like, say this is my phone, being like this, mm-hmm, 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 and talking to somebody, that's not connection. That's not connection. That's multitasking. You're not really connecting because you're not giving 100% of your attention to that person. So if you have a relationship that you feel is failing, even a friendship, just reflect on it. Are you having that uninterrupted time? Are you truly connecting with that person? If not, and that relationship is, is important, you need to find the times to have that connection. You need to find the time to spend with that person to where you're talking. Because that's, that's what you miss. You miss the friendship that you had when you were dating that person. And the reason you felt like that friendship, they felt like they were your person, they were your best friend, is because they really listened to you when you talked. They looked at you when you were talking to them. Something else wasn't more important when you were sitting across the table. And sometimes that just, it just gets lost and you just gotta search it out, find it and bring it back. Um, so that's just some tips of what we're doing. Um, we're also reading a book. So I can post a picture of the book in there, but it's a book that you don't have to, it's not a book for relationships, it's not a book for marriages, it's just a book in general, Law of Attraction. Um, that's awesome, it's just about your mindset, changing your can'ts to can, your won'ts to won'ts, and things like that for positive thinking. Um, it's a really good book. But that's just some things that we've been doing, I just wanted to share with you guys really quick, but I am gonna go get, oh, that clock isn't even working. I'm way past the time for my workout, but I'm gonna go get my workout done. Um, and then get my side hustle of my health and fitness business done, get some messages out to you guys because I am gonna do another group with the 20 minute workouts. Week one went off awesome in the group. Everybody's on track. Um, so I wanna do another one and we're gonna start, I think we're gonna start February 11th. Um, so I'm gonna send out some messages to some of you guys that I know you wanted to join this one you didn't get a chance to. That way you can hop into the one that's gonna be coming up. I'm super excited for it. I'm gonna do another round of it. The last two weeks of this round, I'm gonna be on a seven day cruise. I'm gonna be on a 10 day trip in Puerto Rico and then on a cruise. So I am gonna to stick to it. I'm still gonna do my workouts plus, cause I'm gonna add some walking and stuff to it. Maybe some runs with Alex. We like to run on our cruises. Um, but, and then definitely gonna do another round of it. So I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm gonna go get my sweat vest on and I will see you guys later.